What's up, guys? Just trying to figure out which color is half off. <clears throat> which color? Oh, it says new at tags. 50% off red. Red, green, red, green, blue. Good morning. Hey guys, red, green, blue. I think I missed a color, guys. I don't think white is half off. This is new at tags, though. I might scoop this. Because I don't know what, I didn't see white, but I gotta wait. There is a Lulu top over here. Red is half off. This is 12. There's the Lulu logo right there. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Sorry, I keep moving around. I haven't decided which side I'm going to do. <laughs> I think white is not half off because just looking at some of the stuff how they have it priced I'm thinking it's white what's up Abby you are just oh this is nice this is a large tall they have a lot of athleta today flex I've never heard of that does anybody know this one <clears throat> every time I look up at this screen I'm missing it It's from Coles. Okay, that's what I figured. All right, let's do some leggings. The leggings aisle is pretty bare. They have not restocked. Here's a Lulu for 30. Maybe it's yellow. What color is that? Every time I look up, I'm missing it. I just missed it again. I'm like staring at the screen and still can't figure out what color's not half off. It's either white or yellow. So. Puma. Adidas. Hey, Melissa, how are you? I hope you find all the goodies today. I hope so too. There's a lot of uh, people here today, so see what we can find. I'm sure we'll get some stuff. There's a Lulu. I'm pretty sure white is not the tag that's half off because that is $40. Pretty positive it's white. Under Armour. What is this? It's sweaty, Betty. No. Under Armour. What's up? Good morning, good morning. If you're just joining, I am doing a live thrift looking for stuff to flip online. We sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari. We do whatnot shows on Saturdays. That's what we are looking for. We didn't get to go through this section last week because it was pretty. Here's some Lulu's. Well, these might be only be seven bucks because red is half off. There we go. Look at that. Just add those to the cart. Sweaty Betty, I have not seen. But I would pick it up if I saw it, depending on the price. I discovered a new... I'm not going to pick those. Up. The pants, a lot of pants, this is an older tag. I'm not going to grab this. Um, I discovered a new brand the other day, Navigation Leggings. I have not seen them here yet. But um, I'm curious to see what they would price them up. 
Good morning, Samantha. Thank you. Happy hunting. That's what we are trying to do. Keep it going. Yeah, there's not very much uh, leggings going on. So last week, these are just plain athletics. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this. Last week they didn't restock very much, and I was hoping this week they'd have more stuff. Haven't heard of navigation leggings. Yeah, they're um, me either. It's abbreviated, so it's N. GVTR leggings and they sell between 30 and 40 bucks we had them listed for less than a day we already have a bunch of offers so I picked up five pairs from Goodwill the other day yellow's not half off that's what the hubby said really all these white tags are like wait a second it's yellow yellow is not half off. Every time I look up at the screen, these are all small, so these would be like five bucks. Maybe I will snag some of these athletas then if it's yellow. It's not half off. <clears throat> if you're looking to learn the men's brands, my husband is live doing the men's section right now. K-Way Shop. Here's some nice athletas. Exhale heel tight. These are a large tall. This is great. These are only five bucks since it is half off. Toss these in the cart. That's a great find right there. Those are some nice leggings. And they're the newer leggings as well. I was stalking his live to figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I might forget again, so please. Y'all already know. There's a good chance I'll forget. There's some Lulus right here. 17 bucks though. Ah, it's too much. Sometimes we can find some cheaper Lulus. We just got some for seven bucks in the cart. We can make it happen. These are a small, but these have a cool pattern to them. I like the design and they're gonna be five bucks. I might snag these. Some of the stuff you see might end up on whatnot too, so. <clears throat> What else we got? What else we got? <clears throat> Here's some North Face pants for six bucks. These are a good size. They look convertible too. I'm gonna go ahead and snag these as well. North Face, great brand to be on the lookout for. What else we got? I think we're doing pretty good this morning. These might be Lulu. Okay, well, the price tag tells me that these are Lulu. I always look on the aglet for the logo. There it is right there. <clears throat> Still too much, 17 bucks, but fun fact. Always check the aglet if you can't. There's another pair. These are 15 for a size six. That's a little bit better. These are like dress pants. Let's snag these as well. See, you can find them. Sometimes the back of the zipper, you can check for the Lulu logo as well. If for some reason you can't find the logo, that's not a Lulu, so it didn't have the thing. <clears throat> Super impressed with aglet, right? I'm pretty sure you taught me that word. <laughs> what that is. All right, what else we got? What else we got? I figured that out a couple weeks ago. I was like, these want me to be two bucks. I've got like a nice roof here at the bottom. <clears throat> Vineyard Vines leggings. We had a pair of these and they have not sold. See the little whale? Do not pick up Vineyard Vine leggings. There's some Athleta mediums. Why are these so cheap? A couple bucks. This is a nice pattern. Okay, sorry. Scooch around. Let's go there. Oh, no, you're fine. Let's see. 
Here's some more lettuce. $12. Ooh, no thanks. We just got them for five. I'm good. <clears throat> Man, I would love to find some of the navigation. I'm just curious what they would price these at. These are Spanx assets right here. No, maybe not. I can't see it. It's too faded. I don't want to grab it. But I feel like the wrong size. <clears throat> Thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry if I'm not seeing it as it's happening. But do know, I appreciate it all. We are trying to find stuff to resell online. We found a bunch of good leggings. So, so far, so good. After this, I'm gonna, we're gonna do jeans. Just take a peek, see through the pants, see if we can find some Spanx. You know what, maybe we should do the cardigans. Remember last week, there was a barefoot here. They had it super priced. So we need to find it before somebody else does. Cause I'll pay 12 for it, but I ain't paying 25. What's up, Brittany? It's really like super tied. I wonder if I'd be able to get that knot out. Ah, I don't want to mess with that. Aglets? Nope. What are these? No. Thought maybe those were Lulu's. They kind of had a Lulu feel. Fabletics feels like Lulu to me. So does Old Navy. They trick me every time. Oh my god, little doggies. So cute. I thrifted a pair of Zaya camel leggings that sold in less than 24 hours. Heck yes. I love Zaya. That would make me happy if we found some Zaya. These must be Lulu. Look at that purse. Where's the logo? It says 30. There's the tag, but I'm not seeing the logo on it. These definitely have that Lulu feel to it. Oh, there it is right there. It doesn't have the size. Oka. Bottom of the leg, yep. He was hiding from me. Learned about that brand from you. Thanks, hey, no problem. That makes me feel excited that you were able to find something I mentioned because I'm still learning the women's brands and stuff. So I'm like, hopefully I give decent advice. Nope. These are not Lulu, but they definitely had a Lulu feel. Oh, speak and you ask if you shall receive. These are half off. So we will take these. These are nice, they have like a nice mesh here. That's the logo you're looking for when you're looking for Zaya. It's a half moon. <clears throat> now we got some Zaya in the bag. The blue joggers, yep. These ones? Or you meant, did I pass another pair of blue joggers? We got some good leggings in our cart. We got Lulu, Zaya. We got a bunch of Athleta. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Share your store you're shopping at. Oh, God. I'm just, hold on, guys. Sorry for the awkward. Ah, we are at the red, white, and blue. Oh, oh, gosh. I'm just running stuff over. Red, white, and blue. Okay. through the shorts real quick. I know there's like Shredley shorts to be on the lookout for. I've never personally found a pair, but I heard they were really good. Ooh, 
what colors on sale today. All the colors are half off except for yellow. All right, let's go do cardigans real quick. Because there was a Barefoot Dreams here. I don't remember where. Oh, where was it? Where was it? Maybe somebody moved it or somebody bought it. We'll start from the end. We'll work our way up. I bet where are you shopping at? What type of store? Oh, it's a thrift store. I'm sorry about that. We are shopping to find things to resell. Hold on. First, we're going to check scrubs. I love finding me some figs or Janu. That's kind of what we're looking for. I've been able to find figs a couple times we've been here. They don't have a big section, but. <clears throat> What other scrubs are good? So I know of Figs and Janu, and um, those are the best that I know of. I feel like there's probably another one, but I'm not sure. I haven't found it yet. All right, that's it. Scrubs. They don't really have a big scrub section. Destiny and I are headed to Florida tomorrow. Yay! We have really good... We are spoiled with thrift stores here in Florida. We do have some good ones. All right, let's see if we can find cardigans. I like finding cardigans still. I know like we're kind of going into the season of summer and it's hot. Oh, this is pretty. This is also $17. It's very nice though. Mm. Is it worth $17, though? Anyway, I love the cardigan stuff, because you can wear them all year. You can wear them on dates, movies, in the office, if you work at a, any indoor place. I wear my cardigan at home all the time. Here's a nice medium whoa. Why is it going to be that much? Okay, well, we're not going to spend 40 for that, but this is a nice athletic of cardigan. <laughs> wow. Dickie is a good brand for scrubs. It probably is a good brand, but it doesn't have any resale value. We're just looking for stuff that has um, resale. There's a lot of good brands you're going to see me pass, like Michael Kors, um, Levi's and stuff. But if it doesn't have resale value, we don't pick it up. So we're just picking through. That's all. The only two ones that I know of so far are Figs and Janu. Does anybody else know of any good scrub brands that have a good reason? Let me know. Grey's Anatomy and Koi scrubs are medium tier. Okay. I love Grey's Anatomy, guys. Anybody else obsessed with Grey's Anatomy? But I'm only obsessed to, like, season 13. After that, I'm like, hmm. I'll watch it, but it's not as good. This is an anthropology brand, but it just doesn't sell that well. We've I've bought a pair. I've bought a cardigan from, I can't even say it, Guinevere. And it still hasn't sold. So I'm going to go ahead and skip just because it's been listed for a while. I don't have too much knowledge on it. Do you go to the kids section? I don't. I if, You'll see there's like this massive store. And I barely hit half of it. There's just so much stuff. So many goodies to go through. I do want, after this, I, I'm going to do the jeans and I want to go through dresses. I just I have this thing with dresses right now. I don't know much about dresses. So 
so I'd like to go over there and learn with you guys and see if we can find new stuff. Do you wash the stuff before you sell it? Only if it has stains or bad smells. So, I've been learning the women's brands for the last, probably like two and a half, three months, and I feel pretty confident in the pants and jeans department. So that's where I'm slowly like, okay, let's go check out dresses now. Let's go check out blouses. Let's try and learn a different section. I mean, there's so much to learn. I'll, no matter, 10 years from now, I'll still be learning brands, but um, I'm up for trying a couple different sections. Getting my thrift fix from you all. We're getting ready to move, so I'm just listing my death pile. Oh, I'm glad you're able to list it and hang out. How much have you gotten done so far? What is this? T-H-M-L. This is interesting. 12 bucks. Has anybody heard of this? T-H-M-L. Is this like one of the undercover anthropology brands? Is this red, white, and blue? Yes. Not enough. <laughs> I hear you. Our death pile is a... Uh, Impressive. T H M L A. Has anybody heard of that? Um, so we're gonna look up sold comps over on eBay. You'll type in the name, filter for used, and then filter for sold, and that'll tell us what it's selling for. What is whatnot, Scott? Scott is the king of whatnot. I love selling Barefoot Dreams, one of my favorite cardigans, along with anything Eileen Fisher. Um, there was one here last week, but it was 25 bucks, so they're catching on to me picking up all the Barefoots. So I'm curious, because it would be $12 this week, and I'll grab it for 12 This is an anthropology brand, but I don't think it does that well, and it's an extra small. This is super nice, though. Are you still sick? I'm a little congested. It just won't go away, but no, I, I don't feel sick. I'm always very, like, nasally, but I also have really bad allergies, so being in the thrift store, I get more congested than usual. This is why I can't shop at the bins, because <sighs> I'll just sneeze the whole time. THML, 65 listed, 6 sold, 6 to 20. Okay, so we are going to pass it then, because that is, that it was going to be like 16 bucks, so we shall pass. Thank you for looking it up. ML is a good brand. Um, it probably is, but it just doesn't have resale value. We just, um, Arnold just looked it up for us. This feels like cashmere. This is a very nice feel to it. Let's check this out. 100% cashmere. It would be six bucks and it is Saks Fifth Avenue. Anything cashmere is worth looking into. This feels nice. I don't see any holes. That's something to look for. Um, cashmere and like wool.
poncho. on that mission for the barefoot dreams from last week theory's another one this would be 12 bucks petite tp is that like tall petite Ooh, this is a cotton cashmere theory cardigan 12 bucks guys do you think it's worth thank you for picking up i'm stopping good bullshit <laughs> i got you um this is like cashmere blend theory cardigan is it worth picking it up for $12? If anybody wants to look up sold comps, I'll put it in a cart so we don't lose it. 
just in case it was worth picking it up. Okay, there goes more stuff. Just me throwing around. Theory is a very expensive. It is. Um, my husband picked up something. Theory. Ooh, look, Patagucci. Ten. Wait, no, five bucks. Heck yeah, we're grabbing this, guys. This is a great brand to be able to look for, and it's a fabulous size. It's five bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and snag that right there. What state are you in? We're in Florida. If you guys are missing this, this will be get getting posted to. YouTube. Now here's a lily. It would be ten bucks. Uh, lily, what? A, whoa! Wait a second. This cardigan. It's got some staining on it. I think I'm gonna skip, just based off the staining. <clears throat> you passed outdoor voices. Oh no! I hope not. Did I? Where? What color? Let me know. What color? Go back right after the Patagonia. Oh man, no, I don't remember where I put that. Madison. <laughs> Sorry. Corvus? <clears throat> I don't remember where I picked up the. Is this Outdoor Voices? Are you guys sure? I don't think I picked it up back here. It was over here in the blue. Blue. Okay, it's blue. Madison. Is this it? Oops. Nutcracker. The prices are high. I pay three to six for sweaters plus 75. Um, <clears throat> this store knows their brands. So some brands are higher than others. Guys, I'm not seeing this outdoor voices. I don't think. Blue. Blue. Talbot. I don't think I passed. I don't think there was. You sound sick. Um, I get congested in the thrift store. I have bad allergies. And I don't remember to take my allergy medicine. <laughs> anyway, this live will get up on YouTube. K-Way shop. Make sure you're following. There's a link in my bio. And tonight, look at me, everything I touch just falls off. So at 8.30 at K-Way shop. This is fancy. What is this? We will go over everything we both found together so you can see the men and the women's stuff that we found. Some stuff will get put back based off comps and conditions. So <clears throat> I love your lives. I learned so much. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm trying to, trying to teach, but I'm learning as well. So I just like that we can do it together, figure out this stuff together. Are you at Goodwill? No, we are at Red, White, and Blue. This seems nice. Drew. Dress bag. Bye, Kayla. Thanks for sharing your life. Thanks, Abby. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a good day. What is this? Um, no, not what I was looking for. I thought maybe that said free people, but free people's more of a uh, like a rectangle. You pass Chico's new at Tag. Does that not sell well? No, it does not. No resale value in Chico's, so that's why I passed it. Here's an Athleta. It is an extra small. It's five bucks. It looks like it runs kind of big though. Wait a second. Is this like some pull? Let's see what.
from that said Lululemon. This is only seven bucks, guys, 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 guys. Lululemon. There's the logo right there. Hold on, let me show you. I just saw it. There we go. Yes, look at this. It's like a poncho. It's got like a nice slit there. We're gonna grab this, seven bucks. That's what I'm saying. The store knows their brands, but sometimes they miss stuff. Woohoo! You guys are my good luck charms. Tell me how I saw the Lulu tag that wasn't even sticking out, but I couldn't see the other like tags that are literally in my face. <laughs> Gosh. Knitted and knotted sweater, 1700 listed and only 304 sold. Ooh, mm, that is not a very good sell through rate. $15 thrifting there would break my heart. This is half off. This is actually seven. All the colors except for yellow are half off. Is it always half off on Wednesday? So every Wednesday they change the color tag. So last week red was not half off. This week it is uh, yellow. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, right? <laughs> And seven dollars for Lulu. That means they did not notice that that is Lulu. I'm gonna have to look though, just make sure there's no stains or anything. Here's another Athleta. These are the older Athleta tags. Oh, it is a small. This one's five bucks as well. This one's got a lot of pilling to it, so I might actually leave this one. Because we did just we grabbed and we scooped another one. Calvin Klein doesn't sell well for you. No, it's a good brand, but just no resale value. So we do not pick it up. Their music is so peaceful right now. How can you tell it's an older tag? So that, um, hold on. This is an older tag. The newer tags will say, it's actually like put in the fabric and it'll say like, like for leggings, it'll say what it was. Here's another anthropology um, for five bucks. Um, it'll say like, it'll say like Athleta, uh, seven, eight tights. And that's how you know that's a newer tag and it's actually put in the fabric. It's not like a tag like this. Did we see this last week? Wasn't there something wrong with this, guys? Am I like imagining that? Although we did just look up a sparrow. I don't know. It didn't look like it had good resale. Tons of anther today, right? Thanks for the roses, guys. I appreciate it. And the follows. If you're hanging out, my name is Kayla. I'm a full-time reseller. My husband, both of us, uh, we're just looking for stuff to flip online. <clears throat> Things that have resale value. Lots of good brands here, but we're just looking for the ones that resell. We're gonna go hit up jeans after this. Wow, this felt like cashmere too. This has a nice feel. This would be 10 bucks though. Ooh, it is cashmere. Oops, sorry for the blur. Oh, Saks Fifth again. We already have one of these in the cart, but it's cashmere. Oh no, it has a hole. All right, we're gonna skip. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. All right, let's go do some jeans. A lot of jeans. There's people going through jeans. So. This is starting. Tour doesn't do well for you. Um, we've picked up a couple different pieces of Torrid just to try to like figure out. Here's some frames, but they're not half up. Just to give it a shot because I've heard it does really well. Um, and it hasn't really sold for us, especially, I think if you get it at the bins for a buck or two, you can sell it for like 20 bucks. But here they're like over $5. So for us, it just might not be worth picking up. I think the jeans have been gone through guys.
frame jeans do do well, but those were not half off. Those were uh, not half off like jeans. I do really well with Torg. Yeah, see, some people do really well with it. It's the few pieces we've picked up have not moved. And we did get them for under five, so. Um, but no, they haven't moved. I'm not sure. Good brand, though. I'm sure they're extremely comfy to wear and stuff, but they just resell wise. It's not there. No Abercrombie. No, we don't pick up Abercrombie. Here's some Pilcros, but they're small. So I'm gonna skip. So for jeans, we're looking for a few. I mean, there's plenty, but a few. Um, Judy Blues, Mother Jeans, Rock Revival Jeans, uh, Miss Me Jeans. Um, ooh, what's the brand? Um, Southern Treasure Sound, uh, Veronica Beard Jeans. Uh, Page jeans, we pick up page maternity jeans for women. There's quite a few different jeans brands. Look at you going so fast. <laughs> I know, Jamie's been here from the beginning. I used to be like, all right, guys, look at everything. But I'm just, when you start doing it, you start to figure out what you're looking for. And then you can feel it too. You'd be like, all right, this is, here's some We the Free jeans, but these are small. I like to find size 28 up for women, women's jeans. We might go do a quick peek through the pants because I am looking for some spanks. I'm on a mission. <laughs> My eyes. I'm sorry. I'll slow down. I really, I, I mean, I didn't mean to go that fast. <sighs> Any vintage tees? No, I haven't looked at the tees. That was a, a one surprise. I found a vintage tee last week at a Goodwill, and it's a Batman vs. Robin, super cool, really like immaculate condition, that we have it listed right now, but I don't really know much about vintage, so <laughs> I didn't realize what I had. I found my first pair of Spanx, nice, Melissa, you gotta tell me when they sell, let me know. Here's some Madewells. Are these a good size? These are a size 29. They'd be seven bucks. Mm, I might pick those up. I might. Here's some the new Athleta, new at Tag. These would be 20 bucks. These have been here for a while. Um, Athleta jeans, personally, I've picked a pair up and they have not, they don't move. This is a good brand if you find women's dojo. Dojo sells really fast. We don't pick up women's seven for all mankind if it is not dojo. Right? Those were kind of good looking. I found Paige Spanx and Madewell because you nice, Katie. You got to keep me updated when they sell. That's so exciting. That's so cool you guys are finding stuff. I don't feel like I'm all that great of a teacher. Wow, these are like older made balls. 24 of these are super tiny. Super tiny. Would you pick up South Pole jeans? I've never found women's South Pole, but I think my husband um, picked, has picked up the shorts. I would go ask him though. He's live too. He's doing them the men's right now but I've never seen a pair of soft pole women's excuse me I'm sorry All right, we're gonna go to the spot where they have the snakes give me a second guys I haven't found spanks here in a while alright let's go take a peek Take a peek, see. 
in men's yet what story are we are in the red white and blue all right after this we're gonna go do some dresses actually we're gonna hop over and do shorts really quick as soon as i just want to see if there's any spanks or flax or babatons or wilfreds in here She's in Red White Blue. Yes. No, uh, Tampa Bay area. Tampa Bay area. Sorry about the view, guys. My phone keeps, like, blurring in and out. Those are some AG. What are these? Always check them out, Aglet. I have found Lulu's in the pants section in the past for, like, three or four bucks because they did not know. Oh, 300 friends hanging out. If you guys could just tap the screen, I would appreciate it. You guys are the best. These pants have been here forever and ever, and I swear they're just repricing these every time. St. John pants for women's, I don't think, do as well. It's like if you found a dress. Uh oh. Oh dear. All right, awkward camera angle. Give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> been a while since I found Spanx pants. If you find Spanx, if you find the flare bottoms, those are easy 80 bucks right here. Resell. And if you find them new, 100. Checking the aglet. I'm watching you all day. <laughs> What's up, Surf's Up? Alright, Surf's Up always shouts me out, so we're gonna shout him out. Everybody go follow him. He knows his stuff. And he's super entertaining to watch when he's on live. Annie just made a video about a monkey, and it low-key had me laughing for like 30 minutes, so you should definitely watch it. These prices are in USA. Yeah, this our store knows some of their brands, so you will see higher prices. Um, but sometimes it can definitely still be cheaper than going to Goodwill. I can get stuff here for under 7 There's nothing you can get at Goodwill under 7 anymore. Don't have to show, but what are your finds? We shall show. We've got Lulu, Athleta, Zaya, Patagonia. I don't know, guys. What else have we found? Um, I don't know. That's that's kind of the gist. We've only done uh, leggings. We went through cardigans. What is this? No, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> we found a lot of anthropology as well. Some new anthropology that we didn't know know about because they always have like undercover oh <gasps> ooh, flats and these are half off this is a great brand to look out for too these will sell 30 ish 35 and these are half off so i'm gonna snag these these are nice pants nice full linen pants they did used to be three dollars here guys but they're catching on to me so they're bumped up a little bit looks like you're beating wayne so far what no way his card is probably like twice the size of mine don't tell him if I am winning because then he gets like, he's super competitive. We can beat him in likes though because we've done that before and it, it was super fun. Black, flax, flax pants. Yes, flax, that brand. They sell for around 30. We've sell them, sold them before. Nope, not Lulu. <clears throat> It's yellow, that's half off, right, guys? Yes, yellow. All right. Normally, the Spanx are, like, right around this right here. Let's see. You are more... What is Bolo? Oh, be on the lookout. <laughs> Katie, it's all good. Listen. Oh, <gasps> Guys! This is a good size. They are going to be 12 bucks, but that's fine. These are like faux leather. These are like 40-ish. I'm getting better with my Spanx, guys. I can throw prices out now. I am growing. Learning here. I told you this is where they had the Spanx. Is Wayne live? Yes, he's doing the men's section right now. You are more social than him. 
That's weird. He used to be super quiet in high school, guys, when we dated. He was like, he wouldn't talk to anybody, he'd just be chilling, quiet. And I'd be like the social butterfly. We've actually almost reversed roles. I'm more quiet and kept to myself now. Not Lulu. <clears throat> Found my first pair of Spanx slacks the other day. Nice. Love me some Spanx. The pants are definitely better than the leggings, but um, they all around Spanx is a really good brand. What thrift store is this? Red, white, and blue. What's his account? K-Way Shop. Can somebody tag my husband in here? He is doing the men's section right now. Ooh, look, we got some Eileen, guys. We gotta see what this is. Would you pick up Spanx medium jeans? I've only picked up one pair of jeans. I can't remember what size they were. Um, I guess it depends on the price. Why can't I, this tag might be ripped out. I love picking up Eileen, oh, it's right here. But for the trick with Eileen is to make sure it's something like the material is nice. Linen, silk, wool, mohair. These are eight bucks. I'm probably going to skip these. Yes, K-Way Shop. There he is. Here's another Eileen. Eight bucks. Are these the same? Wait, are these the same pants? Hold up. They are the same pants. Oh, I'm on the fence now. I hate leaving Eileen behind. And it's eight bucks. What do you guys think? Should we grab the Eileen's? Let me know. Where in the world are these resellers getting massive bulk amount of skims, right? I've never found a pair of skims, like I'm not even gonna lie. Never, we'll go check bathing suits, I'll show you. I do not find that skims, I know there's other stuff that skims makes, but I've never found it. Leave her, leave her behind. Masook is a great brand. I like picking up Masook and it's 12 bucks. Make sure it says Miss Sook and not Miss Look because you will see that as well. These are 12. I'm probably going to grab these. Masook is a good brand. Do you pick up Tord or have you stopped? Um, we have do not pick up Tord. It's just, I think if you can get it for under five or at the bins, you can probably do really well with it. Um, but for us here in this store, it's just, it's not worth it. But I know people say it does sell well for them. I guess you just teach their own, you know? Here's some Madewell, like, dress pants. Seven bucks. What are your thoughts on some Madewell dress pants? Ooh, these are like a... I was gonna say flare bottom, but that's not what I meant. Like a wide leg. What are your thoughts? They'd be seven bucks. Oh, <gasps> carrots, guys. This is a bolo right here. This is a equestrian brand legging right here. See how it has the leather here for when you're riding the horses. These are really good. These are like 35, 40 bucks. This is the logo you're looking for. Bolo right here, carrots. Equestrian style leggings. Good sell through right, good pants. Yes, horse grower, yes. Do you, do you wear them? Do you like that brand? Look how excited you get. I know, I, I do. I get, I'm so corny. It's because I'm like learning and I get excited when I actually can like teach you guys something because I'm confident in the answer. All right, get the Madewell. I did put it in the cart. Madewell's in the cart. We got some carrots. I'm super excited. The store does not know carrots. So that's a plus for us. All right. I feel pretty accomplished. We grabbed some Spanx, we grabbed some carrots, we got some Madewell, let's do some shorts. Wee! Oh, there's some white pants here. Oh, we can go through the white pants. I'm just like iffy on white pants because the stains. Let's go through here though. Let's just take a peek, see, uh-oh, okay. Let's just keep pulling stuff up. JB, you are just awesome. No, you're awesome, JB. Hope you always get excited. <laughs> Thanks. Me, me too. I don't ever want that to end. I think I always will. I think it's fun when you find stuff. 
Look at tan pants for more horse pants. Oh, okay. We definitely walked right by all those pants, but I will make sure to head over there. This is the first time I've actually ever seen um, carrots here. These are tiny made well, so I'm gonna pass. Man, I miss the Sphinx. Hold on, wait, they're at the top. I can show you. I don't know if I'm more excited for the Sphinx or like the carrots though. Well, now I can't find them. There it is. Sphinx. Look at the tipper. Tan is the typical color for horse, right, for riding creatures. Okay, guys, we're learning here. The bougie equestrian is letting us know. Check the tan pants for equestrian leggings. Here's some trues. These are a good size for trues. They're only 12 bucks. Why? Is there a stain on these I'm unaware of? Hmm, I don't see a stain. We can't put these on eBay because eBay's uh, taken ours down, but I don't know if he, Steven would want these. I don't know. I'm a guy, but I like selling women's clothing as it is easier to find good stuff, just my opinion. Yeah, the women's section is really huge, so I can agree with that. Everlane, here's a good pair of pants. They are kind of small. High-rise skinny jeans. They're seven bucks. There's two back-to-back. -back. Are these stained? Uh, you were on my For You page. Well, hey, Jules, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. These ones have a... Did they cut these, or are these... Layered. Oh wait, here's another pair of Everlands. These are six dollars. What is happening here? Somebody donated all their Everlands. I think I might pass because these are twenty-seven. I like getting twenty-eights and up. Here's some Rag and Bones. I like Rag and Bone. They're small though, so I'm gonna pass. These are twenty-seven. <clears throat> F for you, page learning so much in this live. Thanks for hanging out, guys. That's cool, I'm on the For You page. That's exciting. Jay Peterman, why does that sound familiar? I think this is a men's brand. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it in women's though. So. I'm seeing wrinkling in the crotch area of the Madewells. Okay, the ones that I picked up are the ones that I just passed. Do you buy free people? We do. I haven't ran into free people yet. We've been running into a lot of um, anthropology and like athleta. Here's some athleta. Are these linen? They feel very 100% linen athletas. This is an older tag, but that's fine. Oh, it looks like the drawstring is, oh, it's right there though. I wonder if I'd be able to like get it out. These are linen athletas. I, we've sold these for like 40 bucks. They're gonna be 10 though. Mm. I'm going to put them in the cart and I'm going to try to mess with the drawstring and see if I can get it out. If I can't get it out, I'm going to put them back. Um, but if I can get them out, I'll probably take those. Bestie, what's up, Mac? Use a hanger. Oh, to get that's a good idea. From Seinfeld, Jade Peterman. Oh, maybe. <laughs> it's like, why is that so familiar to me? Use a pin. Just got off live with Chris. Nice. Oh, were you in his life? How are y'all doing so far? I think we're doing pretty well. We're getting a lot accomplished here. We're learning lots of things. We're gonna do shorts here. The shorts are starting right now. What's his page name? K-Way Shop. Can someone tag my husband again? See if I can pin it. I use tweezers. Oh, that's a good idea. Eyebrow tweezers. All right, fun fact. I do not own eyebrow tweezers, but I can go buy some now. Capulet. I've never heard of this brand before. Oh, it's not half off though, so that must mean this might be a brand. Thank you, Jamie. What is this? So. Oh. Kid clothes that sell well. I only know of Matilda Jane. I don't shop kids clothes though. 
so I'm not, I cannot give you a list. I'm sorry. I wouldn't even know where to sell kids clothes. I think there's like Kitizen, I think is one. Don't quote me though. Use a bobby pin. Now that I do have. <laughs> have you ever found cashmere sweater clothes? Yes, in fact, I have two things of 100% cashmere cardigans in the cart right now. Cashmere is nice. It's always worth looking up. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, here's some North Face. Size 16. They're eight bucks. These are some nice shorts. Tis the season. Summer's coming around. I might grab these. North Face is a good brand. Perfect. Now I need to ask you how to clean cashmere. Um, I need you to go watch my last video where I just destroyed a nice shirt by accident. Go ahead, watch that back and then come back and you will not want to ask me any questions about washing anything. <laughs> And I've 100% shrunk things, so it's because I don't realize it's in the wash. And then I toss it in the dryer, so yeah. That has happened. <clears throat> did you already thrift the cardigans? We did. We did. I'm sorry that I keep scooching these fast. They're all, like, stuck together. We're doing shorts, and then we're going to go do some dresses. You know, uh, Mac, uh, Risner would know. She'll know how to get that stuff out. Why can't you sell trues? Um, true sometimes can take your... They went on um, our eBay store and took our listings down. I don't... My husband has the full details on that. So we don't want to put them back up and possibly get in trouble. We can sell them, just not on eBay. That's all. Let me go tell your hubby real quick <laughs> before he gets salty. <laughs> oh. Do you pick up maternity brands? Um, yeah. If they're one of like like page jeans, I only pick up women's page maternity. Um, those sell really well. Um, and if there's like other brands, like I've found a pair of Prana maternity jeans before or pants. Mm. Oh, these are not half off. I would have grabbed these, but they're not half off. I don't know much about shorts. I'm kind of just looking for the jeans brands. So if you see any, let me know. This is Target. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I want to get to the jean shorts, but I'm pretty sure they're like all the way down at the bottom. Walmart. Sanctuary? Did I pass pair Sanctuary? We're just looking for stuff that has good resale value. So I will end up passing a couple of good brands that you see, but I just resell. Here's some Tommy Bahamas. Ooh, these are silk. I've never found women's Tommy Bahama shorts before. They're $15, though. I don't know how well Tommy Bahama women's shorts do. Does anybody know? How much do you usually spend on average when you thrift? Well, my husband's doing the men's section right now. So we did $1,000 two weeks ago. Last week we did like 800. But keep in mind that's both men and women's. What size are the Tommy Bahamas? These are a size eight. Should I put them in my car? I'll put them in the cart. You guys let me know. I've never found women's Tommy Bahama shorts before. So I'm not sure the selfie on them. He ain't even acknowledging Mac. I'll be back later. You better say it. <laughs> you get him, Mac. Get him. Yes, silk. Yeah, they're 100% silk. I don't know what the silker is on uh, women's stuff, though. That's old navy. Ooh, lots of old navy shorts. Riz said a baby wipe for cashmere. Oh, okay. I would never think of that. 
Yeah, me, I would have thrown it in the wash and destroyed it by accident. And my mom used to work for a cleaner, so you think I'd know these answers. Can I borrow one of Joey's? Yeah, I'll send it in the mail, Mac. It might be all dry and crusty by the time it gets to you, though. <laughs> I'll send you a whole baby pack. Where do you resell? We resell uh, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and we do whatnot shows on Saturday nights. We have one this Saturday. I don't know if it's scheduled yet. There's a link in my husband's bio. Do I have it? I might have the link in my bio, actually, for 15 bucks when you sign up so you can spend it on anybody's auction. It doesn't have to be ours. Pretty sure I have it in my bio. Alright, what do we got here? Don't pass on page maternity that goes for good money. Yes, they do. You do not pick up any other page jeans, women's wise, unless it is maternity. I wish I knew purses, guys. They have so many good purses here. These are small. Tommy Bahama, 134 listed, 74 sold silk shirts. Okay, well, that's, that's, you know, that's pretty good. It's like 50% sell through rate. Right? I think I'll grab them. Is it worth Sydney for 15 bucks? Like, what are, the, what are they selling when you looked it up? Tommy Bahama average between 18 to 30. The whatnot is in your bio. Okay, thank you, JD. <laughs> Couldn't remember. Oh, I don't even know what's in my bio. Our YouTube channel, so if you're not like and followed, subscribe to YouTube. We will be live later on YouTube as well. K-Way Shop. I know that's linked. I know my Instagram. If you want any book reviews, looking for any books to read, my Instagram is strictly uh, for books, for reading. I believe that's linked. <laughs> Most sold for 20, new at tags 30. Okay, so I might have to put these back because these are 15. If they're only selling for 20, by the time fees, shipping, and stuff comes out, we won't be making any money. But remind me next week that these are here remind me thank you for checking that out what's your Poshmark way k shop that is probably not linked in my bio but it is linked in my husband's bio k way shop he has all that stuff linked is it yellow half off no yellow is not half off yellow is full press I didn't realize they were 15. Yeah. That's okay. Just uh, next week. Hopefully they'll be here and we can snag them. But now we know. You can get them for the right price. They have decent sell-through rate. There's some pill crows. These are size 30. These are 7 bucks. Jean shorts. This is an anthropology brand. Hmm. What do you guys think? This is Pilcrow's Anthropology. It's seven bucks, but there's nice jean shorts. Do you ever thrift books? No, because I want to read them all instead. <laughs> I love reading. I've read eight books in two weeks. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. What's up, Joel? Everybody make sure you're following Joel. He's got lots of good stuff. He found Crazy Hall. I like, just saw the video like a couple days ago. Great stuff. The poker I found sat for a long time. Okay, so I might have to put those back. What is NRM? Hmm. Where are these? Ooh, Prana. This is a good brand. Um, I would pick these up if they were half off. But they are not half off. These are full price. Um, there's a Goodwill bookstore in Lakewood Ranch. Oh, I didn't know that. That is nice. I wouldn't buy to resell, though. I'd be buying those books to, you know, build on my never-ending to-be-reading list. <laughs> is Piranha and Men's good? I couldn't find comps yesterday. Um, we do pick up Men's Piranha. 
I, Steven hasn't found it in a while, though. Do you ever find vintage Rocky Mountain jeans? No, I don't know vintage, so I could have passed on it and not realized it. Um, I want to say no, though. Unless, again, I accidentally touched it and passed it and just didn't realize it. Alright, let's go do dresses. If you find it, get it. They sell well. Okay. What is it called? Mountain Vintage Rocky Mountain. Alright, ladies and gents. Don't forget tan pants. Yes. Oh. Yes, tan pants. Remind me again. I have like the attention span of a squirrel. You gotta keep reminding me. Alright, where are my dress my dress people at? I don't know dresses. I need you. I need your help. All the dresses are super close together. Rocky Mountain or Rockies, okay. Thank you for the bolo. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, I can't see the tags. These clothes are so close together right now. Okay. Here's a new it tags. What is this? Oh. Divided. A new day. Charlie was actually very focused, but on all the wrong things. <laughs> what? Back. What is happening right now? Here's Street People Beach. I know this is a good brand. It's a large. It's six bucks. probably gonna snag this it's a good size free people beach this is cute summer dress I know some things nice I always grab a handful on out put them in my cart so I can make room to push back that's a good idea design lab LNT own brand You said you had the, oh yeah, see, Mac, look, I just proved my point. <laughs> I just proved the point. Um, how do you know how much to resell for? So you're gonna look up sold comps on eBay. I do have a video somewhere on my page about how to look up sold comps on eBay. You just type in the name in the search bar of whatever item you have. You filter for used or new, depending on if you have new at tags or a used item. And then you go down and hit sold. And that'll tell you how much it's selling for. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. We're getting our learning on here. Um, let's see here. The thing with dresses is sometimes you just can't, you don't know where to find the uh, tag. That's so funny. Charlie had a good attention span. That's funny. <laughs> Charlie's attention span was probably better than mine, Mark. Okay, what are you? I did find this gorgeous um, for Love and Lemons new tag dress for eight bucks here. Crazy find. And with palm season upon us, I'm sure that'll sell here soon, hopefully. I downloaded the Google Lens app and that's been so helpful. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'll tell you exactly what you have. Or it'll give you like the name of what you have so you can use that to type it into eBay. Here's a Madewell dress. It's five bucks. It's an extra large. Lightweight. It almost feels like linen. Hold on, let me check. That's the other thing with dresses. Now you gotta find. Okay. Maybe if I peek through here. Wait. Just struggling, guys. Ignore my struggle. All right, I can't find it, but it feels like linen. I'm gonna go ahead and snag it. Good size, five bucks. Made well dress. I love for love and lemons, but it was so ugly. No, yeah, the one I found was so pretty. I wish I could wear it. I wish I could pull it off. It was lacy and this really blue lacy dress. Mac was. To, I know Mac. Please throw out some more brands so we can find them. Thanks. Is it hard to sell on eBay? Oh, um, I don't think so. eBay is where eBay is king over Poshmark and Mercari. eBay is where we make the most sales.
Let's see here. What else we got? <gasps> Intimately Freeze, a great brand. Oh, man. $25, though. Intimately Free. Not for $25, though, but I would have grabbed that if it was cheaper. Here's a new at tag J. Crew dress. It is new at tag. It's 10 bucks. Oh, it's extra small, though. Mm. Probably gonna pass. No, I asked which Madewells y'all picked up, and then boom, you found it. I know. You're speaking into existence. I still want to know the answer. Oh, which Madewell jeans? Um, we pick up larger sizes. I try and stay 28 and up on Madewell jeans. I don't know if that helped or if that was even the full question. You might have to re ask the question. <laughs> What colors are half off? So every color except for yellow. This is pretty. Oh, American Eagle. Always Google lends them as some sell for over a hundred. There we go. Here's an All Saints dress for six bucks. All Saints is a good brand. I'll have to look it up. I don't think I've ever found a dress before though. Actually, yeah, six bucks. All Saints. Gonna put that in the cart. Which Madewells do y'all pick up? You can start with jeans. Okay, so larger size Madewell jeans. Um, dresses. I picked up the dresses if it's the right price. I mean, I, I'm still learning Madewell too, girl. Um, we also, that Madewell dress probably gonna end up on whatnot. Super cute. Here's an athletic dress for five bucks. It is a medium. Oh, it's got the built-in sports bra. But I got that. We sold these on whatnot last week. Everybody really liked them. Been a long time seller Macari on eBay. Can I find out how much of a profit I would make? Um, what do you mean exactly? We use a spreadsheet um, that calculates all that for us. Once an item sells, you put all the info and it tells you. Um, it's Jason Hayes' spreadsheet. My husband has a link in his bio. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side really quick because it's getting kind of tight over here. Okay, let's look up here really quick. These are the taller dresses, so the view might really be horrible. Bear with me. What is this? Know what, that is. what are the brands what are these brands even sold not once have I ever seen Madewell in a store <laughs> uh, what are these brands even sold the jeans I think go for um, the women's jeans what do they go for God, we sell so much stuff I can't even tell you off the top of my head Go ask Steven. He knows the numbers off the top of his head. I don't. I mean, where are they sold at, Mike? You are confusing me. Well, we're at Red, White, and Blue. We're not at Goodwill. So this store does have Madewell. I mean, you've seen. I've passed. I've passed and I've picked up Madewell. Um, do I see them at Goodwill? You know, I don't think I see that much Madewell at Goodwill, to be honest. Now that I think about it. Sorry. I wonder if these are new tags. Which department store, ma'am? Uh, TJ Maxx. Pretty sure you can get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Don't quote me on that, though. 15 bucks. It's kind of expensive. Nordstrom. Oh, yeah, Nordstrom. That's a good one. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Nordstrom's a good place, I think, to learn your brands, too, because um, they have all the high-end brands that you're kind of looking for. Um, probably a good spot to just walk in and see kind of what things are selling for. You can check out the Madewell jeans. They have mother jeans there. You can check out and see what they're pricing them at. What was that flower dress at the end? Um, I don't know. It doesn't have a tag. Or this one. Oh, is this the one you're talking about? IB Diffusion. Is this a good brand? It's super cute. 
No, it was blue. Uh. A blue flower dress. I don't know, I'm gonna have to walk back there, but there's a lot of people over there. All right, pretty sure we saw this Trina here last week. Weren't we on the fence about Trina? All right, here we go. Dresses, dresses. They had a lot of Tommy Bahama sweaters over here. Hold on, guys. I got to plug in my phone. Yes, I don't think the Seltzer was good. Yeah, I remember we picked up like two last week and the Seltzer was not very good. Hold on, I'm getting my phone charger. Because my phone's on 20%. See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. Sorry for the camera angle, give me one second. Hook up your umbilical cord. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. Give me a second. I don't want my phone to just stop on you guys. Give me a second. All right, we are charging. My umbilical cord is locked and loaded. See? All right, let's keep going. Trina is a designer brand. We looked it up last week because I found, we found like two last week and the selfie rate was not very good on them. So we did put it back. Unless you guys think that would be a great for whatnot, like a whatnot dress. They had some really pretty, um, Savannah Jane, is this? Savannah Jane, does anybody know about Savannah? She's got like nice embroidery on it. Let me know. Now I forgot what I was saying before. Oh, there were some really pretty uh, Maeve dresses here last week too. Super expensive though. It was not cheap. For Tommy Bahama? What do you mean for Tommy Bahama? Whatnot is um, an auction site. So it'd be, I'd be live. It'd be like this, I'd be live. We'll show you the item. And then we say go. And at the bottom of your screen, um, you would slide and you auction against people to try and get the item. It's super fun. <clears throat> I do have a link for $15 free if you sign up using the link. So any show, our show, whatever show you, you want to go to, um, you get 15 bucks to spend. Our show is this Saturday at 8.30. Bread and butter brands and go. Uh, that's a lot. It's a long list. What is this? That's kind of cool looking. I love finding Spanx, Judy Blues. That would probably be bread and butter for us. Athleta, Lulu. Oh, we did find Zaya leggings earlier too. That was good. I love finding Zaya. And we found some carrots. That is a bolo. Y'all need to be on the lookout for carrots at Questran leggings. Here's that rag and bone dress. Still chilling for 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 22 bucks now. I'm just starting and you've passed up a lot of brands I've got. Hey, I'm learning. So I might've passed something good and didn't realize it. You guys gotta help me. I don't know dresses. If you're following me, we're learning together, girl. Did you find a bolo that I missed? I sure did, Mac. Some carrots. K-E-R-R-I-T-S. Equestrian leggings. Good sell-through rate. Good brand. This isn't good, well, Lulu. This is red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue, they um, buy their stuff. That's why sometimes the prices are a little high, because they buy from somebody else. Goodwill gets their stuff for free. which we just learned when we were in Miami. We had no idea. They had like a sign saying that they purchased their stuff. Goodwill, I mean, red, white, and blue purchases their items. Mm. 
Most comps around thirty to thirty-five dollars. Four hundred twenty-nine listed, one hundred nineteen sold for Savannah. I don't even remember what I touched that said Savannah. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all are gonna have to refresh my memory. And I don't. I don't even remember what the price was at. The Kimmy and Kin is good. I did see you pass one. Oh, I did. Oh, I've heard of that brand. What color was it? What color? I've heard of that brand. I think that's a anthropology brand. What color? The embroidery dress. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I know which one you're talking about. Hold on. Oh, give me a second, guys. Hold on, guys. Oh no. Somebody has it in their hands. I messed up. It's gone now. Alright, next time. I know exactly what Jess you're talking about. Yes, no, it's gone. Somebody just picked it up. I just turned around and they had it. It's okay. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, I know I've heard of that brand before too. Anybody want to pay? Uh, I'm not good at math. 60 something dollars for some new Kate, Kate Spade. Alright, last week we passed it because it was so expensive. It's still expensive. That price might have been too high though, probably. I think it was $14.99. Mm. Guys, this hurts. Is $60 worth this dress? This was here last week and we did pass it. Did the sold comps not, they weren't all that fabulous? Or the price was too expensive for the sold comps is what I meant. Here's some Diane. This was here also last week. This wrap dress. Did we say $12 was good for it? Why is my phone all blurry? Too high, right? I'm starting to pass some of this stuff. Let me go around. Okay. All right. Let's keep it moving. What do we got? 20,000 likes. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Have we met Eileen today? Eileen? Did, what did we grab that was Eileen? We found two pairs of Eileen pants, but we left them behind. They weren't anything. Um, the material was just normal material. No, too high. Nothing special about it. Gotcha. What is this? Simply Noel. Does eBay calculate shipping for you? I believe when you go to the shipping, do not quote me. Make sure you're following my husband, K-Way Shop, because he can tell you this exact answer. Uh, you can um, do free shipping or charge shipping. That's up to you. And depending on what you pick, first class and all that, it'll... You have to weigh your item. Yeah, I'm not good at this. You're going to have to tell my husband. Shipping and me, we're not friends. I'm sorry. There's Bowden, but it's 15 bucks. That's a bit too much for me, honestly, for a Bowden. It is pretty, though. I'm sorry, Funky. Ship, uh, that is something that I need to learn, is the shipping questions, because I am completely useless when it comes to that. Make sure you're following my husband, K-Way Shop, because he can answer those questions. I saw Surf's up in the chat, too. He knows the answers to those questions as well. And Chris at Peak, he does shipping lives. Here's a maternity. Skies are blue. This is... um. An anthropology brand. I'm going to grab this. Anybody want to look this up for me? Skies are blue maternity. Someone look that up for me? K-Way shot. There he is. Okay, good find. Yeah, as long as you enter the correct weight and dimensions, it will calculate for your buyer. Okay. I don't think I was too far off, but I really just didn't explain that well. I am so sorry. <laughs> Okie good finds. He's got the answers. Make sure you're following him too. This is cute, but it's 15 bucks. Vineyard Vines dress. June and Hudson. Is this like an undercover brand? June and Hudson. Does anybody know about that? This is like a wrap dress. Sold comps. June and Hudson. Let me know.
a lot of people in this aisle, guys. I'll put it in the cart until one of y'all let me know. Pass on the schedule book. Okay. Pass on skies are. Yeah, that's one of the anthropology brands that I think that doesn't do so well. Let me find it. Hold on. I agree. Okay, put it back. There we go. Skies are blue range from twelve to forty dollars. Okay, we shall leave it back thank you guys for checking sometimes this spot right here has good stuff these are like shirt shirt dresses Hundred and seventy listed and nine sold for June and Hudson. Okay, we are putting that back. That is not a good sell through rate. What about this? I've never seen this tag before. A, Ma a Monty? It'd be two dollars. It's like a long, long, long sleeve shirt dress. Here, what do we got here? The Native Republic. Venus. Monroe. I've never heard of Monroe before. 15 bucks. I wonder if this is this is like a long sweater dress. Sold comps on Monroe, anybody? It is an extra small. I've never seen that tag before. Here's a Frank and Eileen. This is a really great brand. $30. They know. They know. All right, Frank. Frank and Eileen, I might have to leave y'all here for $30. Ooh, baby. That is a great brand to be on the lookout for, though. A Monty No Salt. Okay. We shall leave. Here's the row. I have found this before. Look at that price. I have found a pair of pants for like a couple bucks. I still don't have them listed. This is $70. This is a Mary Kate and Ashley brand. Their stuff sells for like crazy. Somebody want to look that up for me? The row. Size 8. Black dress. What is the material? Um, let's see if we can find the material. Ooh, damn, it's silk. The lining is silk. You guys let me know. I mean, this is $70. What is the sell through? Oh man, it's got stains right here. Uh, let me know. Mary Kate and Ashley Bird, yeah, the row. That's in my cart, so you guys have fun looking that up and tell me what the price is. Here's a free people beach for seven bucks. Nice dress. Probably gonna grab that. Whoop. Let me move my cart. I am just all up in the way, guys. Okay. I've never seen it. Zadie, what is that? Organic silk. This is an organic silk dress. Zadie. Anybody ever heard of Zadie? It'd be 20 bucks. It's new at tags. I'm putting this in the cart too. I need y'all's help. We got the row. We got Zadie. I need your help. I can't look anything up.
help me out. Thanks for the follows, guys. I do appreciate it. If you're hanging out, I'm just looking for stuff to resell online for a profit. We've got a couple things in the cart. We've got a nice full cart of goodies. We're looking at dresses. I don't know anything about dresses, so I need y'all help. The row, $4.29 on eBay. I know, I told y'all the row is crazy, right? For $70? Is that a good pickup for $70? I've never spent that much before on one thing. The row selling between 40 to 70 listed for much higher. Yeah, what is it selling for? That's what I'm looking for. Type in the row. Type in the name on the search bar. And then hit use. And then a number is going to pop up at the bottom. And then you're going to look at that number. Remember that number. Then you're going to hit sold. And then a number is going to pop up. You got to tell me those numbers. If they're close together, that's good. If they're super far apart, that's not very good. You passed Lulu's. Lulu's does not have good sell-through rate. So yes, I did. Zadie is Ted Baker. About 100 sold. Zadie. Okay. Um, is that for new or used? Because this is new at Tag. The row black dress, eight. There's eight listed and zero sold. Some of the row is still high. Some go as high as 260 used. And this one's 70. Ooh. This is gonna be a, a tough decision, guys. There was the row on Posh sold for 250. Yes, yeah, so sometimes some women's stuff I've noticed. I have to look up on Posh sometimes because I don't find it on eBay. But there's a thing with Posh, and my sister-in-law told me, if you're looking up sold comps on Posh, you got to be careful because if it was in a bundle deal, it doesn't tell you that. It just shows you the price what it sold for, so just keep that in mind. Do you have a name on the row, like a style name? No, it just says the row. Size 8. Keep the Zadie. Organic silk, new at tag, but it's going to be 20 bucks. So what is it selling for? If it's only selling for 40, 20, but you cut it close. Long sleeve or short? It's long sleeve. It does have a stain right there though. That's like the other thing. Long sleeve, silk, 100% silk lining does go 75% off. That would probably be maybe 75% off. I don't know. Zadie, one sold for 98. The one that sold high had like a fold over top. Okay, so different style. Hmm, maybe this one's not that in style. Ooh, here's another I lead. See what the tag is. I can't find Zadie, just Zadie. Oh. <laughs> this is like the third pair of Eileen Fisher pants we found like this. Is this a sign? Do we need to grab one of these? I'm just gonna put it in the cart. We found like four of these, sorry. Let's just see. The row too expensive. The Ted Baker Zadie is spelled Zadie. Oh, do you guys think this one's a knockoff then? Oh, you know what? This has a huge stain on it too. That just made the decision a little easier because this is silk and I am not about to mess with that. So that try and figure out how to clean it. Yeah, I didn't see the stain like right there. The row I'm gonna put back as well because there was a huge stain on it for $70 with the silk lining. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get that stain out. There's more stains like throughout the whole dress. The stains come off with a human cloth. Ask for a discount. I might. All right, look, we'll put on the cart and we're gonna ask the husband. That's how that's how we're gonna do it. 
we're going to ask. When all else fails, we ask the husband. <laughs> it's all on him now, guys. What section do you guys want to do next? Should we go do jackets? What do you want to do? The dresses were all... The aisle is super packed. He's in the men's tops, okay. Hey, you do. Do we decide what section we wanted to do? Up to you guys. Don't forget the tan pants. Oh yeah, yes, okay. We need to go check the tan pants. What are other, um, the bougie equestrian, what are other ones we should be looking for? I know there's carrots, there is one more. I have, I have found a pair of the other one, I can't remember. I can't remember the name. Just checking, seeing if there's any Judy Blue shorts in here. Or... Clearly, they're hiding the barefoot dreams over here, so now we gotta check everything. There's some more cardigans down here. What time zone? Oh, Eastern Standard. I'm sorry about that. 8 30 Eastern Standard time. Here's a Bowden. Oh. I don't know about Bowden tops. I
These look linen though. What are these? Oh, J. Joe. Sorry, Joe. You need to go back. We'll start here and work our way down, I guess. Let's see what we can find. Oh, here we go. Three seconds in and I've already pulled something off the rack. The same stretchy paint material as the carrots. Okay. I don't think I've ever found Ariat pants over here. That would be pretty cool if we could find. Do you like Madewell jeans? I do grab them if they're larger sizes and a good price. I do have a pair of Madewells in the cart. Going Friday to a huge thrift like one hour away from me, trying to learn as much as I can before I go. That's awesome, Joel. Is it like, um, did it just open or? Um, you've known about it? You're just gonna go check it out? Do you have more return requests for women's clothes? Oh, no. Not, not that I've noticed. Not more so one or the other, men's or women's. Um, my husband can tell you the exact percentage on returns if you ask him. Again, I'm a moron with math and numbers, so I cannot spew out those type of numbers for you. <laughs> But we put measurements in all of our listings. So every listing we have has measurements. So they can measure their stuff to what they have or use our measurements and compare to what they own. I feel like women are more picky. We have a lot of clothes, guys. Us women, like, we have a lot of stuff. What are these? Hold up. Just wanna check, I didn't see a tag. I just uh, drafted a pair of these. Oh, upon you. These actually look just like the Athletas I just drafted yesterday. I find Friday off of my full time so I can go while my little ones are at school. Ah, very nice. Take advantage. The kiddos are at school and you get to go shop. Are you gonna make a video? Cause I wanna see what you find. All right, we're getting to the tan pants. Well, I guess we were already on the tan pants. It's like a workout trying to push all these clothes. All right, let's see what we can find. What platforms do you sell on? Yeah, we sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. What is this brand? Stefano? I've never heard of this before. Stefano. They're like a. They feel really nice. Stefanel's size six pick up. Are these a good? I've never seen this before. Christina's saying pick up, and it would only be five, four dollars, four fifty. So, what are your thoughts? Italian brand. Okay, what are they reselling for? If you don't mind me asking, these are a size six Stefanel uh, straight pants. No. Do you sell a lot on Facebook Marketplace? No, we stopped putting stuff on Facebook Marketplace that uh, we do not sell on there anymore. How long have you been reselling? Uh, that's a trick question. <laughs> I've been doing this for two years, but I wasn't doing the shopping or learning the women's brands. I just started doing the women's brands and really becoming interested in shopping um, in the last two and a half, three months. I liked to do the computer stuff and the pictures so I would always do all the drafts, the men's stuff, and take the pictures. Uh, and then once my, I had a baby, so you gotta take out, you know, eight months of just hanging out with the baby. And I have three kids, so mom life. So I don't know, it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's a hard question. Three and a half months for learning the women's stuff and sourcing, enjoying coming to the store to source. But I've known how to do the drafts and I know the men's stuff for the last two years. I'm sorry, that was like a horrible answer. <laughs> Only two sold on eBay and 34 listed. Okay, we shall put those back. Not a good sell through rate. Thank you, user, for checking that out for me. All uh, right, man, if we found some Ariat pants in here for a good price, I might just fall over. I don't know if this store goes there, Ariat brand. 
Yo, bro. What's up, Jordan? Hi, I hope you find some right. Oh, man. I'm so excited. Oh. I think my favorite thing to do, though, is knock everything off the hangers. What do we got here? What do we got? Ooh. Why did you quit selling on Facebook Marketplace? Nothing was selling. <laughs> Nothing was selling at all. I think we still have the stuff listed on there because we're not just didn't remove it, but we're not adding anything on there. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> all right, come on, horse riding pants. I'm like just super excited we found the carrots. I find Ariat at the flea market, but they ask a lot. Oh. I didn't... You know, we haven't gone to a flea market. I haven't been to a flea market in forever. Here's some St. John's. I don't think their pants... Like I said before, I don't think their pants do as well as the... Like, dresses. She just restocked a couple clothes over here. Did you see that? All I did was touch it. It fell off. This is... If I buy a lot, the guy told me he would sell them to me for $10 a pair. Oh. So did you end up getting them, Joel? What? Did you work out a, another deal? Was he able to hook you up with some more paints? Here's some more St. John's. A lot of St. John's. So do you focus on women's clothing and your hubby handles men's? Yes. We, I'm learning the women's stuff. And he, he, well, he already knows the men's stuff. But yes. And we work together to get everything drafted and listed and pictured. But we just literally just tag team. I'm solo and mostly getting women's right now. Nice. Yeah, whichever one you start with. At least you're starting. These feel like linen. These are J. Crew, but I wonder if these are linen pants. Oh, it says denim. Wait. They feel like linen, though. I usually don't pick up J. Crew. These are a linen blend pant. But we also sell on whatnot, so I wonder if this would be like comfy. They are comfy pants for like whatnot. I might put these in a cart and show Steven, see what he thinks. I have 150 items ready to post for the first time. I'm scared. It's been fun so far. Now I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Do it. I believe in you. You're not going to know until you try, girl. I was very nervous. Listen, you ask anybody in here that's been <laughs> following me for a little bit to do like lives and stuff and to get on camera. So nervous. I still get nervous sometimes. But this is an amazing community and everybody's the sweetest and so helpful. You got this, yep. This is the most supportive community, I swear. Make sure, hey, Cass, there's a Facebook group, res uh, Resellers of TikTok. Um, you should try, you can join that too. You can ask questions. Um, other people post stuff that might be helpful. These are 15 bucks, these are... Hey. spent a month watching others so far yeah i mean that's the best way to learn too i watch um, i've been learning the women's stuff for me personally like being in the store and like touching the items looking at the tags looking up sold comps that helps me um but i watching the tiktoks has really helped too like the quick 15 second like show me the tag show me what it is show me what it sells for like i just have a better chance at remembering that Oh, I see some Maeve. Not half off, though. Beep. Next week, guys. Remind me these are here. <laughs> I'm nervous to do live, too. A thousand is coming fast. Everybody go follow Joel. We want him to go live. On Friday, when he goes shopping. <laughs> Here's some free people. Size 8. Oh, man. These are 20 bucks. These are, like, corduroys. All right. Also, remind me that these are here. I'm new. Everybody has been so nice answering questions. Yes, I'm telling you. 
so supportive. The sweetest community is the reselling community. I have a honey hole that sells stuff two, under $2, so I should start off on top. Wow, that's so nice. You have a little spot. Make sure uh, my husband does shipping lives in the morning. Uh, you probably already follow him, but if you don't, K-Way Shop. He can answer any of your shipping questions, and then at night, he takes pictures of the stuff that I had drafted. Um, and you could see how that goes if you have any questions. He can answer and show you how to do it. Um, I'm supposed to go live every night, but again, I have three kids, and sometimes I'm just really tired and can't make it to lives at 8.30. Here's some... Oh, these are new with Tag Madewells. These are not half off it. Man... I just did off your life earlier. Yes. Okay, good. Good. I can thrift myself. I can list. Yes, I can. Sorry, I changed song lyrics. <laughs> Why are you passing who, what, wear pants? Those do not have good resale value. Here's some Bowden pants for $10. Mm, I like the Bowden dresses. I think Bowden dresses. Here's some rag and bones. Oh, these are a good size. For 10 bucks. These have like a velvety feel to them. These rag and bones. Um, hmm, I'll put these in the cart. Who, what, where I think is Target. That had a Target tag on the back of it. Hi. Yeah, look how much I found it for, though. Okay. Why are you creeping on me are you from behind? Take my, she's trying to take my title. Four bucks for a this, 1X. This yeah. wasn't even over in the cardigan section. That is a scoop right there. It's pretty color, too. It's like a pink. She took my title for it. I went to, already went to that cardigan section, and there was nothing over there. Okay. Everybody that I just said to follow my husband, he's right here. Who, what, where is anthropology? Live stream section. What? Who what wears? Is that anthropology? I didn't know that. I didn't do jackets. We're looking for horse leggings because I found some carrots for four dollars. Oh yeah, we did shorts and dresses and all sorts of stuff. Okie doke. Why are you creeping on me? <laughs> Y'all, he just came out of nowhere. It just gave me a heart attack. All right. We're not looking for horse riding leggings anymore. We're in blue. Here's some linen. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's over yourself. Dang, he's got a pile. Yeah, that's normal. He always has a massive amount. I'm pretty positive the men's stuff here is cheaper than the women's stuff. We might have more stuff. And you can find more stuff. Nope, no boogers. Alright, what section you guys want to do next? Tell me, tell me. I think we're just down to blouses. The dress aisle was super packed. That's why I got out of there. How often do you two go looking? Um, every Wednesday, because we do our live thrifts. And this store just has so much good stuff. Um, Wednesday, Friday, we go back out to the other red, white, and blue because there's two in our area. Um, there's some new tags. What is this? Oh, slimming. And then sometimes Tuesday, there's a Goodwill by me that has some good stuff. So I will. Uh, these are 12 bucks for some Madewell jeans. Where's Mac at who's asking me about these Madewell jeans? Ooh, they are 27, but they're new at tags, so I'm probably gonna snag these for 12 bucks. No, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so Tuesdays sometimes, every Wednesday and every Friday, but we only go to red, white, and blue. Sometimes I'll do the Goodwill on Tuesdays. They're small. I'm here, look, listen, I got some new at tag Madewells for 12 bucks. Aha. What were the made well right before those? They were s small. I started right here, didn't I? 
What is this? Oh, these are overalls. Is there another Madewell right here? Let's see, let's start over. Good question. Um, I don't see any Madewells. Was it on the other side? I see some Everlanes, but they're tiny. Time and True is Walmart. Refuge? Denim? Never heard of that before. Do you resell Nike? I, I haven't found any like vintage women's Nike stuff. But no, I don't randomly pick up Nike stuff. But I, I'm sure there's vintage stuff. My husband has shoes. You go to our eBay store, it's linked in my bio, and see all the stuff that we uh, pick up and sell. Those page ones, um, we only pick up page um, maternity for women. Page women's maternity. Did you already look at leggings? Yes. Did you list the Batman shirt? Yes. We have it listed for two ninety nine, dollars And we already got an offer of 100 so... That was definitely a good find. Probably my golden find ever. Here's some Madewells. Size 29. Got some pulling here down there though in the thigh area. I'm gonna skip on those. Scrubs, we did do scrubs, we didn't find any. Versus the men's maternity. <laughs> Uh, you could pick up Paige Men's. We do pick up Paige Men's. Paige Men's Maternity. We did find some good leggings there. Sassy. These feel like nice light. Oh, never mind. We found Lulu. Found some Lulu, Zaya. A bunch of Athleta over there. Do you wash the items before shipping? Um, only if they have stains or bad smells. What is this? These are inside out. Are these Lulu? Let's check. Nope. Any Spanx today? Yes, we did get some Spanx today. I'm checking the rest of the aisle to see if maybe there's some over here. You guys haven't told me what section you want to go to yet, so I'm just chilling over here until you let me know. Do you pick up Gymshark? Yes, um, if it has the size on it, and it's a good price, because Gymshark's like 25-ish. Dresses, oh, we did do dresses, and we did do shorts. We have a lot up today, guys. The dresses, I didn't go through every single spot, because it's super packed. I mean, it's really, really packed. There's a lot of um, women's resellers here today, and everybody, all of us have nice full carts, so it was gone through. That's how much goodies are in this store. There's enough for everybody. Oh, what a tease. I thought that said Spanx. Totally doesn't say Spanx. Do you pick up women's theory pieces? Theory is one of those that I am also on the fence with. I don't. When I looked up sold comps a while ago on Theory Pants, they didn't look fabulous, so I didn't. But like the cardigans, I think, do okay. So Theory's tied into the whole, uh, what's that other brand? Forehead? Like, is it is it good? I don't know. Some items are good, some items aren't. Maybe like the styles, some styles sell better than others. Guys, if I found another pair of Spanx, I would just like... Those leather leggings, they were... Uh, t what were they called? It was... They were not Spanx. Look, you say theory pants. Now we have theory pants. How much do they want? Five bucks. I don't know. What do you... Like, should I grab a pair of theory pants? pants? These feel nice. I wonder if these are like cashmere. Oh, okay. I'm just going to throw them on the floor, I guess. These are, these are wool. These might be worth it. 
These are theory wool pants. Oh, they have stains on them though. They're covered in stains. Oh wait, no, they're coming off. And these would be five bucks. Oh man, is this for me dropping them? Is that why, or is this just dirty? Oh, it's coming off. And they sell for more, from what I've learned from selling the Spanx. I have some Spanx faux leather leggings in the cart right now. Okay. Do thrift stores sweep the floor? They are the worst. Like, did you see how dirty those pants were the moment they hit the floor? White fox, what is that? White fox. These are like sweats. Those three pants could end up on whatnot. We'll see, we shall see, you never know. We did find some flax earlier, which is a good brand to be on the lookout for. That's a popular Australian brand. Oh, okay. I have to go back and grab my cart. Sorry, guys. Leaving it behind. Anyone heard of White House Black Market? I do not pick that up. But I have heard of it. We've passed a few. It's like Michael Kors. Good brand. Um, just not great on resell. A lot of influencers promote White Fox. Oh, is it, um, what's the resell on it? Anybody wants to look up, they were White Fox sweats. I think they're right here. Wait, where were they? Great, did I lose them? They're right here. They're there. They're an extra small. If anybody wants to look those up for me. White Fox. I've comped a lot of those because they look nice, but they never look good. White House, yeah. Here's White House right here. Yeah, we don't pick it up. Just the Seltzer's just not there. Doesn't mean you can't buy them for yourself, though, if you're looking for a nice pair of pants or shirts. Oh boy, all those hangers are about to drop. It's okay. I'm starting to get hungry, guys. I know it's kind of random, but I'm hungry now. Pass on the white fox. Okay. I will put those back. I don't think we're going to find any Spanx pants, but at least we got some leggings. Ooh, here's some Eileen's. These are nice Eileen's right here. Those are extra small Eileen's. These feel like wool, though. And they look like they would have been new at tag. Going out for lunch, I'm hungry, too. I'm starving. This does not have the tag in it. Oh, and it's missing the whole pocket. Okay. We'll pass those. No okay, thanks. Do you pick up Wild Fox? Um, no. I know I've passed it a few times. Everything I find in Miley Fisher is always oversized. I find, I find a good amount of all the sizes. That one in the pocket was cut out, so that's why I left it. It didn't have the uh, tag. The material tag. What are you guys having for lunch? I have no idea. Go ask Steven. What are we having for lunch? I have chicken nuggets at the house. Maybe I have some chicken nuggets. I found Biori said. I've never found that brand for women's, but I'm, I know Steven's found it. Men wise. There's more. I think we're back to where we started. These are not half off though. 
Alright. Ooh, Viore is a great find. Yeah, Bolo for sure. I'll put these back. Alright, guys. Should we try, like, the boxes or something? I think we've got a lot of good stuff in our cart. We did good today, guys. We did well. Very well. Sure. Okay, let's do blouses. Is he signing off? Are you done? Why are you watching me? Stop. You're in my section. My other stalker right here. I got two stalkers. You got a lot of shoes too. I'm not a dog. Well, I mean, you know. <laughs> but oh man, we're all in the way. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Let me flip the camera. <laughs> flip the camera. All right, chat. I'm going to head out. Make sure you're following. We'll go over everything later tonight that we found on live at 9.30. Sometimes there's nice stuff here. You can find Eileen Fisher things. We're just looking. See if we find anything nice over here. All right, guys. I'm going to... Geiger. Oh, I thought said Willis and Geiger. Woo, baby. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off tonight at 8.30. Make sure you're there. K-Way Shop. We'll both be going over everything we found. Thank you guys for the likes and the follows. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I will see you later. Bye.